Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to talk about distributives, all and half. Let's get started. Distributive determiners, or simply distributives, refer to a group of people or things and to individual members of the group. Note that they show different ways of looking at the individual within a group, and they express how something is distributed, shared, or divided. Now let's have a look at the example over here. All people want to love and to be loved. The distributive all refers to people, and it tells us how many people want to love and how many want to be loved. Note that the distributive determiner, all, is used to talk about a whole group with a special emphasis on the fact that nothing has been left out. Note that all can be used with uncountable nouns and plural countable nouns by itself. Now, in this usage, it refers to the group as a concept rather than as individuals. Have a look at the example below. All parents want the best for their children. The distributive determiner all is referring to parents everywhere. All can be used with uncountable nouns and plural countable nouns preceded by the or a possessive adjective. Now in these uses the word of can be added just after all and with no change in meaning. Have a look at the sentence over here. Have you eaten all the cookies in the jar? Have you eaten all of the cookies in the jar? Both sentences have the same meaning. The only difference? In the sentence we add of, which does not change the meaning of the sentence. Also note that all can be used with plural pronouns preceded by of. Have a look at the sentence below. All of us are going to be there tonight. Us, plural, of. All can be used in questions or exclamations with uncountable nouns preceded by the demonstratives this or that. Or, all can be used with countable nouns preceded by these or those. Now, in these uses, the word of can be added just after all with no change in meaning. Now, let's have a look at the examples below. Look at all the snow out there. This sentence is an exclamation. The distributive all is preceded by the demonstrative this, which modifies the uncountable noun snow. Let's have a look at the second sentence. What are all these people doing in our house? This is a question. And the distributive all is preceded by the demonstrative these, which modifies the countable noun people. Now let's have a look at the distributive half. The distributive determiner half is used to talk about a whole group divided into two. Half can be used as a distributive in several different patterns. 
let's have a look at those patterns. First, have can refer to measurements if it is followed by an indefinite article a or an and then a noun. Let's have a look at the example below. I'll be back in half an hour. Half an hour meaning 30 minutes. Second, have can be used with plural pronouns preceded by off. For example, in the sentence we have, only half of us are going to be there tonight. Meaning that if we are 10, only half of us means only five of us are going to be there tonight. And half can be used with nouns preceded by the, a, an, a demonstrative, or a possessive adjective. Now, in this case, the meaning refers to a concrete physical division. Note that the word of can be added just after half with no change in meaning. Let's have a look at the following examples. Half the people have already left the party, meaning that if 50 people were at the party, 25 of them have left the party. Putting half a kilo of sugar in the topping will ruin the cake. Meaning that we have to put just a quarter of sugar in the topping, not half a kilo. I want half of that cake. Meaning that I do not want the whole cake. I want half of the cake. Sorry, but I used half of your eggs making breakfast today. Meaning that if there were 12 eggs, I used only 6 eggs for making breakfast. Now let's review and practice a bit. Remember that we use all with uncountable nouns and plural countable nouns by itself. Now, in this usage, it refers to the group as a concept rather than as individuals. Have a look at the sentence below and fill in the gap using the appropriate distributive. All students are sleep deprived during the finals. Also, remember that all can be used in questions and exclamations with uncountable nouns preceded by this or that. Or we can use all with countable nouns preceded by these or those. Now remember that in these uses the word of can be added just after all and with no change in meaning. Have a look at this sentence over here and fill in the gap using the appropriate distributive. Look at all these cute puppies. I want to adopt one. Also, remember that we use half when we refer to measurements. Now, in these cases, half needs to be followed by an indefinite article, a or an, and a noun. Have a look at the sentence below and fill in the gap using the appropriate distributive. Sarah always runs half a mile in the morning. And note that we use half with nouns preceded by the, a, an, a demonstrative or a possessive adjective. Now, in this case, the meaning refers to a concrete physical division. Have a look 
the sentence over here, fill in the gap using the appropriate distributive. I need to get rid of half of my clothes. They are too small for me. And remember that all and half can be used with plural pronouns, preceded by of. Have a look at the sentences below and fill in the gap using the appropriate distributives. All of them were invited to the party. Half of them were invited to the party. Here is a short story using distributives. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Are all of you going to the party tonight? No, I think only half of us are going, not all of us have free time in the evenings. But all of our staff are going to be there. I think it would be nice to celebrate Halloween all together. Think of all the fun stuff we can do. Yeah, but half of our employees are married and have kids. It's tough to find time for things like that. Now time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and find mistakes. A. My dad usually runs half miles a day. B. All parents want his kids to be happy. C. Think of all money that went into the preparation. D. Half of the students was present today. E. Look at these cute shoes. I want to buy them. Look at the following table below and match the sentences accordingly. A. Half of them ignored our dinner party. B. You better not eat this burger. C. Look at all these balloons. D. Where are all the apples? E. I don't know if this movie is worth seeing. 1. Are they having a party over there? 2. I bought a kilo yesterday. 3. Only half of the reviews are positive. 4. Think of all the calories. 5. That was very disrespectful of them. Now, let's check your answers. My dad usually runs half a mile a day. All parents want their kids to be happy. Think of all the money that went into the preparation. Half of the students were present today. Look at these cute shoes. I want to buy them. Half of them ignored our dinner party. That was very disrespectful of them. You'd better not eat this burger. Think of all the calories. Look at all these balloons. Are they having a party over there? Where are all the apples? I bought a kilo yesterday. I don't know if this movie's worth seeing. Only half the reviews are positive. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial.